Welcome to today's math lesson on similar figures and proving that they're proportional. Our do now reads, when three squares are joined at their vertices to form a right triangle, the combined area of the two smaller squares is the same as the area of the largest square. So this is just a lot of information. But this is just proving the Pythagorean theorem equation, or it's the Pythagorean theorem equation in verbal form because the two smaller squares would represent square A and square B and their combined area would make the area of the largest square which is square C. Which three squares do not support this statement? So we're going to go through and as we can see this would be square A, square B for all of them. So when we do 5 squared, we get 25. So we have 25 plus 12 squared, which is 144. And it says that the area of square C is 169. So if we add together 25 plus 144, we do get 169. So it does support this statement. So it's not A. For answer choice B, we have 36, so that's the area of square A, plus we have a, um, the 8 is the side length of square B, so to find B squared, we have to do 8 times 8, which is 64, and the area of C is 100, 36 plus 64 is 100, so this statement is supported. For C, we have 64 is the area of A. And then we have 15 is the side length of square B. 15 times 15 is 225. And then 17 squared is 289. If we do 64 plus 225, we do get 289. So the correct answer must be D. And just to make sure, 6 times 6 is 36, or 6 squared is 36. 9 times 9, or 9 squared is 81. 36 plus 81 is not equal to 225. It's actually 117. So that's why D is the correct answer. Today's TIC is 8.3a, and our lesson target is that scholars will prove that the ratio of corresponding sides of similar shapes are proportional, including a shape and its dilation. And then given four problems, scholars will prove that the ratio of corresponding sides of similar shapes are proportional with 100% accuracy for the DOL. Some vocab words are corresponding sides. So that is if we have similar figures. So similar figures are shapes that are the same but of course different sizes so corresponding sides would be the side that is the same side on the similar figure so for example these green lines represent the corresponding sides on this square slash rectangle and of course this is an example of similar figures Similar figures have congruent angles, so all of these angles are the same, even though the side lengths are obviously different because they're different sizes. They're proportional. Similar figures are proportional. So we can write proportions, and they should be equivalent to each other. Dilation is just a way that you can enlarge or make smaller a shape. And then we are using proportions, which are two fractions, to show equivalent or corresponding sides. So for this verse, I do, it says figure one and figure two are similar figures. And as you can see, it's been rotated. So figure two is not the exact way we see figure one. And we have to write all six equivalent ratios 
of the corresponding sides. So what I can do to make it easier for myself is I can redraw the shape, this figure two, in the way that it is seen in figure one and then relabel it because that might be easier for me to decide what sides correspond to what sides. So it's not perfect, but I know that this is C, it has one, two, three lines, and then this is the corresponding side. So this is gonna be H right here. And then if it's rotated, then I know that this is I, J, K, L, G. So now it's easier for me to write my corresponding side ratios. I have side AB corresponds to side LG. And then I'm just going to go clockwise, side BC corresponds to GH. And then side C, D corresponds to H, I, D, E corresponds to I, J, E, F corresponds to J, K, F, A corresponds to K, L. So it's easier to see the corresponding sides when we draw or redraw the shape facing the same way. So right now I'm going in and highlighting all the corresponding sides. For this next I do problem, we're given two hexagons and we have to write all six equivalent ratios of corresponding sides. So let's say that I didn't want to have to redraw the shape. And this one's a little bit easier to see since it's only a little bit rotated. And instead of letters, we're given side lengths. So we have 4.5, which is this side right here, is equivalent to 3 right here. Then we have this six is equivalent to four. We have this 10.5 is equivalent to seven. Then we have this B is equivalent to five. We have nine is equivalent to six. So I'm always starting with the bigger shape and then the smaller shape, but I could also switch it around and start with the smaller shape 
and make it equal to the bigger shape as long as I keep that consistent. So we have nine is equal to six. And then 10 is equal to A. And so right now we have just shown the corresponding side lengths, but to make a ratio, we would have to combine several of these. So what I can do, for example, is combine these two. So I have four over five, over six. So that's saying four over five over six is equivalent to three over four. I can even do B over nine. So we have B over nine is equivalent to five over six. And I can combine the last two as well. So in similar figures, corresponding angles are congruent, which means are the same, and corresponding sides are proportional. For this problem, it says the picture shows bridge trusses which are formed by similar right triangles, as you can see. So we have the similar figure embedded inside the other figure. So this is a smaller figure inside the bigger figure. Write a proportion that can be used to find x, which is this right here, the horizontal distance of the small right triangle. So there's multiple ways that we can approach this, but I'm going to approach it the same way that we approached the last few problems. So this is the height of the smaller triangle and then the base. So we have height over base basically. And so I first started with the smaller triangle and then for the bigger triangle the height is 15, the base is 20. Another way I could have done this is with corresponding sides. So starting with the height, I know that 15 is the height of the bigger triangle and nine is the height of the smaller triangle. And so I'm putting that equal to, this is height and this is bases, and this is the bigger triangle and this is the smaller triangle. So the base of the bigger triangle is 20 and then the height is, or sorry, the base of the smaller triangle is x. So these are just two examples of proportions that can be made, but these numbers can also be flipped. So it could have been x over nine is equal to 20 over 15, as well as nine over 15 is equal to x over 20. There are several you do problems that are multiple choice. And then, of course, your DOL that's in a Google form. Thank you so much for following along in today's math lesson and see you in the next math video. Bye.